Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Let me see here. All right. So, we're going to wait just a few seconds here. Um, this is Mercy Love and a cup of coffee. Amen. I got my coffee. Do you have yours? Hello, John. Uh, so today's verses has chosen my test. Um, hopefully Tess would join us, but she was not answering the phone. So, uh, it's her son's birthday today. Happy birthday, JP. Yay. So, I think she was tired out, which is fine. Um, so, unless she pops on here. CJ, the Bahamas Mamas. Hope you're enjoying your vacay. Hello, Alec. I just said that, CJ. Okay, so the verses that Tess chose for our morning devotional, she actually chose three. One was Isaiah 25. And I'm going to start there. I, yes, I alone will blot out your sins for my own sake, and will never think of them again. Then we've got Psalm 103, uh, verse 11, For his unfailing love towards those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. He has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. For he knows how weak we are. He remembers we are only dust. Okay, I'm going to hold up there. So, Um, good morning, Philip. We often forget and we often so focus on what we do wrong. The Heavenly Father is not focused on what we're doing wrong. But we get in a trap where our focus is on what we do wrong then that's when we're going to do more wrong. And that's and that was the whole example of the law of Moses. We cannot do it like that. We have to rely on the Holy Spirit. Look at the Heavenly Father's just that. He is a loving Father. And as stated in that psalm, for those who fear him and love him. Now the fear is a deep respect. It is not shaking at the knees. The fear is a deep, deep, deep respect. Now, we would not be here talking about the Heavenly Father if we did not have a deep respect for him, if we did not love him, if we did not love Jesus, therefore, he does forgive us of our iniquities. 
So we need to focus on his love for us and not focus on trying to keep a short list. What you think about the most, that's where your focus is and that's what you get. When you focus on his love for us, then this walk becomes so much easier. And just as Psalm 103 stated, which I love this psalm, for his unfailing love towards those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate, for he knows how weak we are. Amen? And in fact, he knew it. That's why he gave us his Holy Spirit to empower us for that which we cannot do. I define grace as being God's empowerment to do that which we can't do. And we can't earn it. We can't buy it. It is a free gift. And so we, our focus really needs the Father's love for us, His children, then our love for others. Because when we realize our needs are met through the Holy Spirit, then, then we have something to share. Then we can take the focus off of ourselves and focus on the needs of others. So for this week's, the rest of this week, I want everybody to contemplate on how much he does of us. And I think that this is um, for those who haven't had the earthly example. It is powerful to focus and to know. Not the God of wrath. Not the God of judgment. We are his children now. He is no longer, because of Jesus, wrathful against us. Rather, he is merciful, compassionate, and full of love for his kids. So, that's focus on that. Take time to focus on his love for us. And then we've got something to share with others. And when we're not continually focused on, quote unquote, not sinning, because that takes all of our attention, right? If we're focused on not sinning, then we're only focused on ourselves and what our actions are instead of what his actions were. He sent us Jesus. So I just speak that every single person listening that will ever listen to this has a true heart revelation for his love for us, his mercy, which is deep and compassionate Mercy, and mercy is so deep. And so that's what we focus on this week. And that in itself will free us up so we can come outside of being focused on ourselves and look to others to meet their needs. And I think I'm going to read this by Sarah Lou because it looks like it's really good. Let's see here. And so we proclaim, this is Sarah Lou. Thank you, Sarah Lou. 
And so we proclaim deliverance, the breaking of chains, that the hearts of the daddies be turned towards their children as our Father God's heart is toward us. I love that, Sarah Lou. Awesome. So, let's focus on his love for us and then his love will shine through us to others. And that is when we will reach other people. And that's when we we will turn this world around and upside down in love without the pointing of fingers, but the pointing to Christ. Thank you, Jesus. God bless y'all. Y'all have a wonderful week. And I speak complete healing. I speak life and love. Thank you, Jesus. So, um, and somebody's got the interpretation for what I just stated in tongues, I would love to hear it because I seldom in public speak in tongues. So I feel like that is something that the Lord once interpreted. And so if y'all feel a word from the Lord on that, let me know. All right, God bless each and every one of you. And um, have a very blessed week.